Hey, uh, Chopin, I, I wasn't expecting to hear from you this soon. Hi. You remember me, right? Yes, Leo, from the club. You said as much in your message. We danced all night, talked for a few weeks, and then you hooked up with that Sophie girl. Yeah, right. I just, you know, I, I thought you, I thought you didn't remember. Boys. <laughs> because I'm not giggling with glee that you sent me a message. <laughs> Listen, I'm on a short break after a long ass hospital shift, okay? So excuse me if I don't have the energy to be charming to some guy that I met years ago that I barely know. Look, look I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize. I'll let you go. No. No, it's fine. I don't mean to be rude. <sighs> but if you want to catch up and reminisce on all times, then hit me up again in a few weeks when things are a bit calmer. Your message, however, said that you wanted to talk about COVID-19. Yeah, I do. Why, what's your interest in this anyways? Last I saw on social media, you were in music or something. Mm. More like, more like a patient or something. You weren't infected? Yeah, uh, I, I just got back from the hospital a few days ago. How are you feeling? Yo, it was scary for a while, but I'm finally feeling better. The treatment, the hospital helped. But... But what? I feel kind of weird. You know, I, I, I can't talk to people that I know about this, so I don't know. I thought maybe you... Oh, Leo, this crisis is affecting the whole world. There is nothing for you to be ashamed about. I guess, but... But what? Come on, you can ask me anything. I just want to make sure that what I'm feeling is normal. That I shouldn't be worried, because I, some people start feeling better and, and then they end up getting worse. So, you know, that's the thing about this coronavirus. There's still so much that we're trying to understand about the symptoms and the treatment. It's really tough seeing people struggle with this thing up close. Worse than anything else you've seen on the job? Not exactly. So, some people had an easy time of it, but for some, it's super rough. And then you factor in things like the rate of spread, how contagious it is. It makes it all so difficult. There isn't even enough protective gear for us doctors. So whenever we go to work, we're putting our lives at risk every day. Do you ever just feel like walking away? I'm human. I wish it was easier. I wish I didn't have to put my life at risk like this. But I took an oath, just like the doctors that helped you. And I try to remind myself of that at the most challenging times. Like, like what? Like when people bring a loved one to the door and then days or weeks later, they come back to pick up a body from that same door. And when I have to hold the hand of someone who's dying, because their families can't be there for them. Or sometimes I make a WhatsApp call so people can say goodbyes. Sometimes I have to call to say that there will be no more goodbyes. That sounds super intense. <clears throat> Anyways, is, is, that, um, is that what you wanted to know? Is that the information you needed from me? You know what, um, this isn't urgent. You have to get back to work like you said. My thing can wait. If you're sure, but you can message me whenever. I may not reply immediately, but I will get back to you. Thanks. Later, Leo. Bye. I'm sorry I haven't been there much since Yippie and I broke up. I wish I, things happen. I mean, I'm really glad you called, though. Me too. Was that the beginning of a mustache I see? 
Yo, you've come a long way from the kid that used to wear his bed. Nah, I don't do that anymore. Uh, just relax. I'm just playing, fam. So, how are you holding up? Losing on norms must be hard. Yeah. It reminds me of mama all over again. I get it. I remember how hard that time was. I just can't believe she's gone. <sighs> me neither. Maybe you could help with something to make us all feel better. Oh, and that is? I'm trying to get a hold of as many people as possible that Aunt Nomalanga helped over the years. I want to put together a video tribute for Bongi. I already spoke to Zamo, so she's into it. I also want to reach out to people from my work. Oh, okay. I think that would be great. So, you'll do it? Oh, me? Yeah, of course. You'll just talk about your best memories. I, I don't think that's a great idea. Then what's wrong? She just... Some girl, she told me not to go outside and I still disobeyed her. And I feel as if... I made her worse, and maybe she'd still be alive if I just listened to her. Stop. Okay, what? From what I heard from Bongi, nothing you did made a difference. She was sick before you went to stay with her. The reason she didn't want you breaking lockdown was to protect yourself and to cut the chances of you passing the virus on to others. Yeah, I know, but I just feel guilty. I feel like that about a whole bunch of stuff. The last feeling guilty is more about what we wish we had the power to do. We've already lost on Tien. So what we can do is help remind the family that she lived a worthwhile life. Okay, sure. So what are you getting? You just record yourself talking about her. You know, share memories that they would love to hear. Mm, okay, sure. Uh, I can do that. Great. Thanks. So you'll send it to me when it's ready, yeah? Talk soon, little man. <laughs> well, the first time I met on Lamalanga was a Sunday afternoon after church. If you have any questions about COVID-19, text the word COVID to plus 41-798-931-892 on WhatsApp. For more information about coronavirus or related issues, visit mtvsugar.com forward slash alone together. Terms and conditions apply.